When you read things like reduces prop rattle, reduce banging when shifting gears, and hear names like shift dampener system, you might be wondering why you would need something like this on your boat and what exactly is this doing? These are all terms that are connected with propeller hubs and these were designed to prevent, reduce, or eliminate what you will hear being called prop chatter, prop rattle, clutch chatter, or something along those lines. This is a really common issue and you can find endless videos of people posting about their prop chatter issues showing what happens. Basically, whenever you are sitting in the boat with the engine running at idle, everything is okay and smooth and you've got no noise. But then when you put the engine into gear, now you've got this loud chatter, clacking, banging, or other issues that can sound like you've got a box of marbles rolling around in your lower unit and you don't know where the noise is coming from. Then if you advance the RPM from idle up to say about a thousand RPM, the noise instantly goes away and everything runs smoothly and there are literally no issues, no performance issues, no rough mid-range, missing it wide open, or any other issues. Just the noise at idle when in gear, and if you do have any of these other issues, then you might not be dealing with prop chatter, which for low speed trolling, shallow water navigation, no wake zones, this can be an issue, and what the long term effects of running with prop chatter for the life of the engine are, I'm not sure what that really looks like. They say it doesn't hurt anything, but over the life of the engine, who really knows? Why this occurs and what makes this an issue is another story though. Because there are a couple of variables that creates this scenario, and it is more commonly found to happen with certain styles of engines than others. The most common engine that you will experience this with is going to be your four-cylinder, four-stroke engines. And it's more prominent in the inline engines than in the V style engines. And all that means is that the cylinders on the engine are all either in a line from each other from the top to the bottom compared to being in a V shape with two cylinders on each side of the engine. In order to better understand the sound, we'll need to talk about different portions of the issue, which brings us down into the gear case and how the lower unit functions. You see the lower units will have a drive shaft that go up into the engine, and when the engine is running, it will be spinning this drive shaft. On the bottom of this drive shaft is a gear that is called the pinion gear. This gear is what connects with your forward and reverse gears that will utilize another gear that is called a clutch dog when you shift the engine into gear. Whether that be forward or reverse, this clutch dog will slide either forward or reverse and engage into one of these gears that is being spun by the pinion gear. Once that clutch dog is engaged, it will spin the prop shaft in whatever direction of that gear you put the lower unit into, which in turn will spin the propeller of the boat to move the boat in whatever direction you are wanting to go in. Now with this understanding, we need to move back up into the engine and talk about these four cylinders. Because every engine is different and they all have a different firing order, which is the point in time when the cylinder will be producing power. We won't go over how a four stroke engine functions today, just know that at certain times when the piston comes up in the cylinder, the engine will create a spark at the spark plug, igniting the gas that the engine is running on, creating power to push that piston back down and these four cylinders will all be producing this power at different times as the pistons are coming up and down in the cylinder. Now when the pistons are coming up and the engine is not firing on that cylinder, that piston is not moving down or up with the same amount of strength or force as it is when it is in that power stroke. With these four different cylinders changing in power and force as they move up and down in the engine, this creates vibrations wobbles, and an offset in the balance of the engine I guess is the best way to describe it. This vibration or shake that is created is usually countered with what is called a harmonic balancer on most engines, and that balancer is to help keep the engine balanced while all this is going on. But nonetheless, we have a vibration and a change in the speed at which the engine is spinning the drive shaft going to the lower unit. This variance in speed at low RPM can create a little chatter in the gears here in the lower unit. Now with all of that going on with the engine and the lower unit, once you put a propeller on the prop shaft, now we need to talk about the weight of the propeller. The size and the material that the propeller is made out of is what determines how much the prop weighs. Stainless steel props weigh more than aluminum props, and four blades generally weigh more than three blade props. 
So now we've introduced basically a weight on the prop shaft that is spinning around when we put the engine in gear. And because of the difference in the balance of the engine's pistons, the varying speed of the drive shaft, the gears in the lower unit, and the movement of this weighted propeller pushing the load of how much your boat weighs, we've got a lot of moving parts at different speeds with different loads, and all of this together is what creates the noise of prop chatter. Generally, the weight of the prop and the load of the boat at this low speed will allow the prop to move at different speeds than the prop shaft. Now this is why the noise will go away once we get up to say about a thousand RPM or we put a little bit of trim in the engine to change the angle and the load that is on the prop which will mesh all these actions together to smooth it out and remove the noise. But this gets into why the different companies have made the different styles of prop hubs that will help to balance all this out and remove this prop chatter. Usually with the design of incorporating rubber pieces or plastic into the hub to dampen and absorb these variances and weights, Yamaha makes the SDS which is the shift dampener system. Mercury has the Flow Torque 3 and 4 hubs that help to handle this chatter, and Solus, Rubix, and other companies have different variations of hubs that will help to get rid of the prop chatter when an engine is idling. Which is why these hubs generally cost more because they aren't just a solid or pressed hub in the prop that doesn't have the difference in it that absorbs the speeds, vibrations, and all the other factors that go into creating this prop chatter. So how many of you have ever had to deal with prop chatter? Have you ever heard of prop rattle before? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new, smash that like button and visit us at bornagainboating.com. Thank you all for hanging out with us this week and we look forward to seeing you next week.